Hi Pisces, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person love spread. Um, quick announcement to make. Um, I am doing a free 30 minute love reading giveaway, pulling the winner on or around June 1st. In order to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment your name below. That will get you entered. Um, and I'm also doing a special through the month of June. Um, a 30 minute reading for $30. That information is in the description box below. And I also offer distance Reiki healing. That information is below as well. Um, all right, so Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. This is a general reading, okay? Um, all right, so Pisces. Let's see, your person's overall energy for this connection. Pisces, person's overall energy for this connection. Thank you. Oh, I got a couple. Observer and a leg up. So I feel like your person is kind of sitting back, observing either you or this connection or their life. Um, it could be a new connection. There is an egg here, which usually means like a new um connection or a re renewal or rebirth or what have you um so i feel like that's where your person's at but they're also willing to work on stuff with you so if it's new it's like they're just kind of figuring you out and they want to put in work and effort if this is a reconnection it's like they're kind of observing to see if they should put in the work and the time and the effort okay so Pisces, let's see what's going on with your person. Pisces person's current energy. Pisces person, current energy, please. King of Wands, Ooh, Leo, Aries Sag energy. Wow. We have Six of Cups and Two of Cups with King of Wands. Your person, there's... This could be a soulmate connection, or there's a lot of love, or this is someone from the past, or there's a lot of, like, nostalgia or memories that this person's thinking about regarding, like, love from the past. Hmm. Your person could be, if they're not a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, they could just be in that fiery, passionate, driven, um, very attractive, fun, flirty. There could be a lot of like sexual, romantic times going on between the two of you or this, this could even, I'm getting, this could even be like a secret admirer type thing that you've known for a while or you used to know in your past and maybe they haven't expressed this love to you for some of you all right it's general please have an open mind here hmm knight of swords gemini energy i feel like this person wants to come like rushing towards you they feel like you're their soulmate they're thinking about a lot of memories from the past hmm they want to communicate. Eight of Wands. This person wants to communicate. I feel like they want to come like rushing in towards you and communicate. Possibly tell you that they love you or they've loved you for years and years or way back when or something. That could be why they're observing. Trying to figure out the right approach, the right timing to come towards you. Let's see what's blocking External influences or blockages. Blockages, external influences. King of Pentacles. So there could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that's getting in the way. And then we have Justice, Libra, Energy. For some of you, there could be a marriage that's in the way here, that's blocking this connection. Maybe you're married. Um, and then we have karma. So we have justice, Libra energy, karma, Scorpio energy, king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's blocking. So for again, for some, there could be a marriage that's in the way. 
Um, <clears throat> if not, or a higher level of commitment or some kind of contractual agreement, maybe somebody has children or a house or, or something like that, that's kind of getting in the way here. Could be a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You. Are you getting in your own way? <laughs> Let me see. Let's see. Can I get one more, please? Blockages or external influences. I feel like, <clears throat> yeah, there's some kind of stability. Something that's getting in the way of you two being together. Whether they're in a connection or you're in a connection with somebody else and it's making things a little bit unstable unbalanced or that's what's making this person be afraid to come towards you maybe they've tried and maybe you turned them down due to situational things hmm. let's see how does this person feel about you Two of Wands, so they're making that decision. <laughs> These wanted to come out before. There's that Eight of Wands and the Lovers, Gemini Energy again. Two of Wands. Somebody has a choice in love. And then Ten of Cups. That's how they feel about you. You, you may be the one with the choice here. There's soulmate written all over this connection. They see you as their happiness, their Ten of Cups, emotionally fulfilling. I feel like they want to communicate, but they also see you wanting to communicate as well. There could be like fun, flirty conversations or messages going back and forth between the two of you. And maybe you don't realize how deep this person's emotions go for you. It could be a friendship thing. Mm. It could be a friendship thing where you guys are just kind of friends, but you don't, you may not know that this person's emotions are actually very strong for you, Pisces. All right, let's see, what is this person hoping for the outcome? What are they hoping for the outcome? Seven of Swords. They're hoping to steal you away. <laughs> they are strategizing on... Wow. Okay. So, Seven of Swords, the High Priest, and Six of Swords. I feel like this person is trying to strategize on how to come towards you or steal you away from whatever situation you are in. <laughs> Because they want commitment with you. They want things to move into a calmer place. It's like they want to steal you and have you forever. <laughs> yep, they want to be your knight in shining armor. Male or female. Male or female, doesn't matter. There's no gender in tarot. They want to be your knight in shining armor. Yep. The Fool, Aries Energy, Five of Swords, and Page of Cups. And I saw the Page of Pentacles and the Star. You are like their wish come true. You're their wish come true. They want to make that leap. They want to be that fool, but they're conflicted in their head, which is why they're observing and why they haven't actually made that move yet. But you, you are their wish. You are their wish fulfillment. There's that knight again. Knight in shining armor. This person is in love with you big time. Big time. It, it So much, it hurts. Like, it hurts them how much they want you. Pisces, this person wants you. Wants you. All right, what's the biggest obstacle for this connection? What's the biggest obstacle for this connection? Celebration, yep, coming together. 
completion. Coming together, completing a cycle, starting something new. Oh, Pisces, you got some kind of decision to make. Any advice here for Pisces? Advice for Pisces? Passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. <laughs> it's written all over this. Dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. And boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So, yeah, some someone's got to move on from something. You'll receive what it is that you need once... You or your person, this could be reversed too. This could be you talking to your other person, you know? It's a general read. Things are going to come to light, but there is insane chemistry here. This is a very powerful reading, Pisces. Very strong, very positive reading. All right. All right, so that's what I have for you. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment your name below to be entered into the free reading giveaway. If you would like to book a personal reading for the 30 minutes for $30, information is down below. And also I offer distance Reiki healing as well. Um, so until next time, Pisces, love and light. Take care.